Hello everyone, I'm Harry, welcome to my channel, and today we're looking at the fuzz matic by Rock You Repaired Amp. Sarara hit the scene by doing a really faithful reproduction of the famous Clon Centaur pedal. Now this is considered by many to be one of the best clones of the original Clon Centaur, with the faithful circuit throughout to really capture the time. I did originally do a demo of the Clon pedal for Ryra as well, as the 808 that he did, which was kind of like a tube screamer clone, and they both are some of the best reproductions of classic circuits that I've played. Now the Fuzzomatic, if you couldn't already tell, is very much a fuzz face style pedal with a couple of different tweaks. There's also a lot more volume output on this pedal compared to most fuzz face style circuits. If you see most people using fuzz face pedals, they kind of have the volume all the way up, but on this pedal you can really dial it back and then pull it up if you want to slam the amp harder or other overdrive pedals that you're using. And what makes this pedal special is the fact that it uses NOS germanium transistors. Now there's a lot of debate online between people thinking that germanium is better than silicon, but they both have completely different applications in my opinion. The thing that people love most about Germanium pedals is how responsive they are to your guitar, meaning when you roll the volume down you can get a great clean overdrive tone and loads of in-between sounds just by manipulating your tone or and volume control on your guitar. In my experience, Germanium fuzz faces are a little bit smoother sounding and so responsive on the volume control compared to silicons, which are kind of harsher in the top end and have a lot more gain going on as well. So as you saw in the intro song, the settings on the pedal were exactly the same. The only thing that was actually different was me rolling down the volume control and using a different guitar. So in this demo we are going to check out the fuzz range on the pedal as well but I'm mainly going to focus on how it cleans up rolling down because I think that's how most people would use it. There's a lot of famous artists that literally use a fuzz face as their overdrive tone and just have the volume down and then if they do want to go a bit crazy with the fuzz they can just pull it up and rip on a solo. So we are going to test it with three staple guitars. We're going to use my Macmull S Classic for some Strat tines, my Macmull T Classic for some Tele tines and my 1958 Rear shoot Gibson Les Paul with Monty's Light Output PAF style pickups for some humbucker tines. The amp I'm going to be using today is my mid to late 70s Marshall JMP set very clean slash very slightly on the edge of breakup. That's running into two Celestian G12 M65 cream bat speakers and being recorded by the Louis LCT 640TS microphone. So the Matmull S Classic straight into the old JMP sounds like this. <laughs>
So there we have it. That was a look at the Fuzzmatic by Rocky Repair Dance. A great, faithful, kind of slightly tweaked version of a classic fuzz face, having great times throughout, and again, having that great volume dynamics thing going on with your volume control on your guitar is what we all crave when we use a Germanium fuzz. Sounding great with all the different guitars, and it really is going to be one of my favourite fuzz face style pedals. This is definitely a must-have fuzz for me, even if you have other fuzz faces, this one really sounds great, and having that extra volume on tap really allows you to get more output of the pedal and slam other pedals harder. So I'm actually going to be doing a sound like Jimi Hendrix video for this pedal as well, so if you'd like to check that out, there'll be a link up in the cards in the description and pinned in the comments. Let me know down in the comments what you thought of this pedal and how you would use it yourself. There's going to be a affiliate links in the description to every piece of gear I used in this video. These just help support the channel out further, so I'd really appreciate if you check them out. Other than that, go onto my channel, check out some of my playlists, I have plenty more lessons, covers, gear demos, how to sound like videos, and anything guitar related. As always, I've been Harry, and thanks for watching.